For lawyers, time is limited. What if you could expand time by changing your relationship to it? Welcome to the new Billable Hour podcast, transforming the way you think about time in your law practice and life. And now, here's your host, lawyer and best-selling author, Ritu Goswami. Hello, welcome to episode three of the new Billable Hour podcast. Today, we're talking about finding your flow, systems and processes. First, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this episode. Low D Law Office, PLLC, located in Lexington, Kentucky, is an immigration law firm accepting referrals for family-based issues, removal and deportation defense, mandamus claims, criminal law crossover, as well as possible T, U, and asylum claims. Lodi Law Office can be reached at 859-514-0905. Again, that's 859-514-0905. So as usual, we are going to start this episode with three breaths together. So find a comfortable seat uh, wherever you are. Don't close your eyes if you're driving. And let's take three breaths together. So exhaling everything, let's take an inhale together. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Amazing how that works every time. So today I'm talking about finding your flow. So we all want that feeling of flow in our lives and especially in our law firms and our law practice and our professional life, right? We want systems, we want strategies, we wanna make our firms run like a machine. I hear this all the time from lawyers. And we like machines because we can control machines, at least we think so. So we want something that we can control and something that runs smoothly. So wouldn't it be nice to have everything running smoothly, humming like a refrigerator in the background, and we get to be the boss, right? We get to be the boss, all these things are happening around us. That is all our dream, uh, definitely mine. Um, And with technology, this is actually possible. Um, Now more than ever, we can automate uh, more things than we ever could before, right, in our law firm. So even a solo practitioner, so if you're on your own, you can provide high quality, attentive service Uh, with all the tools available, right? And the client won't know the difference if it's you're on your own or if they're with a big law firm. We can outsource and delegate so much now. We can find experts in whatever they do that is not what we do and and have them do it for us. However, there's a danger in all of this. We can get hyper-focused on the systems and processes And then we actually lose sight of the flow that we wanted. So what we really wanted was to flow, to feel easeful, to not have to worry, to feel like things are getting done, that things are moving, that there's um, there's progress, right? That when, you know, we can take a vacation or even just step away, we can take a break and things are keep moving along, right? And if we hyper-focus on the processes all the time, we we are not in our own flow. We are basically obsessing about having this perfect flow which actually has to flow on its own. We have to flow on our own and that has to flow on its own. And so in pursuit of high structure and control, which we're good at as lawyers, we lose, again, we lose what we're looking for, which is that flow, that fluidity, that flexibility, that ability to um, take on uh, kind of twists and turns, which is a lot of what we do, right? Like that something new comes in. We're trying to prepare for every possible situation. And then obviously there's going to be another thing that happens and that will throw us off. So we are kind of losing sight of what flow means. And of course, like definitely a high percentage of the time we can, uh, we should have systems and processes and I love them and I'm constantly working on them. Uh, but let's not forget the intention that we want to be flowing. So isn't that interesting? We want ease and we want flow, we want movement, but then we can get rigid and try to control things um, that are right in front of us. So to create flow in our lives, in our law firms, we need to step back every so often, probably more often than you think, (laughs) and, and really see what's happening, feel what is happening. So step back from your systems, from your 
processes from your, you know, desire to control and see how are you feeling and how are the systems and processes working. And this happens a lot of time because we can, this, this happens a lot of the time um, that we don't look at how things are working because it's happening so quickly. Our law firms are growing so quickly. I just, you know, I see a lot of law firms, they get, they get on a, they get in flow, right? They get in flow and, and they're able to grow the law firm. They're hiring more people, taking on more clients, and then there's really no time to look at the systems again. But really, we have to be watching all the time uh, how everything's flowing because this is, it's a, it's an all the time job, rest of the life job. <laughs> and, um, and when we have people working for us, we also need to be doing it for them because they are there just to do their jobs. So just like the laws change, right? There's an ebb and flow. So do systems and processes and what worked before may not work now. And what worked for one employee may not work now or you know, for one client, it may not work now. So you're different, the law is different, society is constantly changing. So in order to be in flow, we have to, well, keep flowing. <laughs> and this, is, it took, is, this concept has taken me a long time to really figure out as a lawyer, because I think we want things to happen a certain way. And we think that if we put in enough effort, um, we can manage, <laughs> and we never do. <laughs> and we, and we, we, we suffer because of that. And um, it's taken me a while to really reconcile that even if things are in constant flux, we can, we can also be managing them and be in control of them by, by flowing, right? So if we understand that everything is in constant flux, everything is moving, we are always moving and changing and growing, um, makes a life a little more interesting. <laughs> and it also um, helps us relax more and helps us uh, really see what everything in front of us is doing um, and also gives us uh, more expansion to come up with creative solutions, different ways of looking at things like, oh, wow, I didn't even notice that because I'm so, you know, I was, I was focused on this and I didn't even notice that how this made me feel or that other thing made me feel good in my law firm five years ago, but now I'm in a different place and I need more time in this other place or I want this role in the law firm and I don't have it. And so I need to create that. That's another thing. What you want now is not necessarily what you're going to want later. And to honor that will keep us interested, engaged, uh, competent, effective lawyers. So everything's always changing. There'll always be something new to discover and learn. And I think instead of avoiding that, and instead of thinking that things have to be certain and that there's some silver bullet, there's some technology that you need to have, there's some secret for making money or for having your law firm be successful that someone else has figured out, um, there really isn't. So instead of having that thinking, it's kind of like, what is in front of me right now? And can I look at it more um, from a place of curiosity? And can I make something better? You know, something small. Can I make something better? Can I, how can, am I flowing? I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you. Look inward. Are, are you flowing? If you're not flowing, if you're feeling stuck, take a step back, right? And, and adding more rigidity and structure is not always the answer, even though it feels like it, it does. I wish it were. I wish that that would help us. So instead of being overwhelmed and frustrated um, with the change that's going on around us, let's embrace it. Let's actually flow with it, yeah? And, and see what happens. So let's, that's what I have for you today. Let's finish with three breaths. Digest everything that may have come up for you. So exhaling everything, let's take a deep breath in. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. I would like to again thank the sponsor for this episode, Lodi Law Office, PLLC, based in Lexington, Kentucky, is an immigration law firm accepting referrals for family-based issues, removal and deportation defense, mandamus claims, criminal law crossover, as well as possible TU and asylum claims. Lodi Law Office can be reached at 859-514-0905.
Again, that's 859-514-0905. Thank you. Thank you for being with us on the new Billable Hour podcast with your host, Ritu Goswami. Subscribe to the podcast wherever you like to listen. To get your free copy of the new Billable Hour book and other resources, visit www.newbillablehour.com. You can contact Ritu directly at ritu at newbillablehour.com.